If you're watching my video first thing in the morning, um, on yesterday, I spent the day in my studio playing with paints and fabric along with some of my stencils. Oh my gosh, how much fun did I have? So this is the paint that I used. It comes in a box of 24 fabric colors. Um, and the beauty of this stuff is it tells you right on the box, apply directly from the bottle, paint can be mixed and thinned with water. Now thinned with water is always my favorite thing because you can get some of the watercolor look. So I went to Walmart and I picked up some natural muslin and I just began to paint. Oh my gosh, how much fun did I have? So it all began with my six by six gel press. These are 12 by 10 um, pieces of fabric. As I said, my fabric paint that I've got here and my stencils. So let's go see how I did this. Now, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna put down some background color. So I took a little bit of the gold. Add it to my gel press. Then I'm going to use a little bit of the aqua blue. And I probably use way too much paint. I do every single time when I create. So let's get my brayer. And brayer that gold around. Just looks so pretty. All right, so there we have the base layer. One thing I do want to do is I am going to spray it with water like they said I could. I'm going to take my first piece of fabric. I'm going to place it on top, and I am just going to do a very gentle wipe over top. And this is how the magic began. Get my next piece. Once again... A very kind of gentle wipe. Here we have our next background. Give it just a little bit more spritz of water and I will do the last one. Now that one didn't come out to be a whole lot, but I do still have quite a bit of this paint on my brayer. Looks like there really isn't another little spritz of water. I'm going to lay this over top the same place I was before. Gently rubbing the fabric to pick up as much paint as possible. Voila! Layer one. Now, it did say that we could mix paint. So I have my little handy dandy second gel press plate right here. Uh, I believe this is a five by seven. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the red, wine red is the color, and I don't need a whole lot of this because I'm looking for more of a pink than I am um, a red. So and I'm gonna add some silver. And if you know anything about color mixing, you mix the darker color, which I'm gonna consider as the red, into the color the paint that you're trying to change the color of. Yeah, that's the color I was kind of going for. I'm gonna take this, put it on my gel press, spread it around, got some triangles here. So I'm going to go back to the last one that I did, and it's going to get the first pull. Now, I only want a little bit of this, so I'm only going to press down on this side. And here's where the magic begins. 
This is now the first one that I did. It is a little wet still. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now I'm gonna lift that up and I'm gonna take the middle one that I had done and I'm gonna pick up this paint. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the next color. I'm gonna do a little bit of eggplant purple. Spray her off, so we're gonna do the white. stones. Once again, give it a good spritz of water. That was a really good spritz of water. All right, so I'm going to start on a new spot. Ever so gently. Yeah, you could tell it was a little bit extra water on there. Oh, but still look at that. Just continue this layering process. When I'm mixing my paints, I don't do a ton of it because it's kind of a one and done type thing. Oh, and we still have purple on this brayer. So let's just roll with this yumminess right here. All right. Oop. A little bit of water. And I'm going to fill up the rest of this background on this one. I'm going to go back to this um, yellow okra. So now I'm going to take just that okra and give it a good spritz of water. Yep, see how that paint's all balling up? I think that's what I want. So let's see. And I'm just ge very so gently. Hold on. <gasps> Trying to get it. All right. There's that one. See, so funny using all the same colors that I used last night, and I got a totally different look. I'm rocking the total different look here. Rocking it. All right. Okay. I think I've gone as far as I want to go because after a while. 
just don't know. So here we go. These are the fabrics that I created. All right, so we have the finished product here. Now there was an additional step that I took. I used um, my stencils and I put a little bit of the fabric paint over here in the corner and just using my trusty sponge and some of the white, I just put a stencil down and stenciled through and got this. So now let's see what they all look like. I'm just loving how you get this water effect. Super pretty. And we're not going to lose ourselves on the hole because I'm going to tear these apart. See, and this is the one that we thought, I thought was so hideous. Oh my gosh. See, it ends up being my favorite. All right. So there you be it. There is painting with fabric colors using your gel press. Okay. So I wanted to show you what I made out of all of those pieces that I printed on the gel press. I tore them into all different sizes and I sewed them together and I got this beautiful piece of fabric. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. So I hope you enjoyed my creative process. And till we meet again, stay creative. Bye. Thank you.